Okay, so let us solve another problem here. So we have Na plus H2O uh, producing NaOH plus H2. So katulad ng mga ginawa natin procedure, no? Uh, isulat muna natin yung mga elements na nasa reactants at nasa product. So we have sodium, hydrogen, oxygen. And in our product, we have sodium, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay? So, magbibilang na tayo. Ilang sodium meron tayo sa reactant? 1, hydrogen, 2, oxygen, 1. And sa uh, product natin, um, sodium, we have 1, um, hydrogen, we have 3. And then, oxygen, we have 1. So, balance ang ating sodium. Uh, balance ang oxygen. Ang hindi lang balance is yung hydrogen. So, so what do you think is the best thing to do in order to answer this problem? No? Because we have even number dito sa hydrogen natin sa reactant at meron din naman tayong odd number na hydrogen dito sa ating product. Okay, kasi uh, once we add a number dito sa ating uh, reactant, alimbawa, yung hydrogen natin, kailangan natin is 3, no? So, any coefficient na i-add ko rito sa ating reactant will not really satisfy yung nasa uh, ano natin sa prada kasi add number to eh. No? Well, the best thing to do is to check uh, alin yung naka-isolate dito na ano na hydrogen natin. No? Kasi dito, meron tayong H2 at meron din naman tayong H2 rito. Samantalang dito naman, one hydrogen lang. no In this case, kung titignan natin siya, pinakamadali is to make both side having an hydrogen of 4. Kasi, Meron tayong uh, one hydrogen di here and two hydrogen here, no? So, if I will add coefficient of two sa NaOH, I will have hydrogen equal to four. And the same way sa ating reactant, if I will add a coefficient of two, I will have, um, you know, the hydrogen equal to four. So, magiging balance ang ating hydrogen. So, I will have hydrogen 4 here and I will have hydrogen 4 here. But doing that, maapektuhan yung ibang elements natin. In our product, maapektuhan yung sodium and yung oxygen. So, let us count again. So, now I have 2 sodium and I have 2 oxygen. So, in our reactant, no nag-add ako ng coefficient na 2 sa H2O, ang oxygen natin is naapektuhan din. No? So, now, I have a total of 2 in our oxygen. So, kung makikita ninyo, balance na yung hydrogen and oxygen. Yung sodium na lang ang hindi balance and we need to add a coefficient of 2 sa sodium. So, now, we have 2 here. And now, we have a balanced equation. So, this is our final answer dito sa problem natin na to. Okay, so let us now proceed to the next problem. Uh, so, we have C8H18 plus O2 producing CO plus H2O. So, sulat uli natin yung mga elements natin. So, we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, producing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, so let us now count uh, yung mga elements natin. So we have 8 carbon, we have 18 hydrogen, and we have 2 oxygen. So sa product naman natin, meron tayong 1 carbon, we have 2 hydrogen, and we have 2 oxygen. Okay? So, we'll balance first yung carbon, no? So, we will add a coefficient of 8 
sa CO. So, now we have 8 carbon and ang ating oxygen is equal to 9. Okay? Then, we will balance yung hydrogen natin. So, in hydrogen, we need 18 because in our reactant, we have 18 hydrogen. So, in order to have 18 hydrogen sa ating product, we will add 9 sa ating H2O. So, now we have um, 18 hydrogen. And for the oxygen, we now have 8 plus 9. So, we'll have now 17. Okay? Now, finally, we need to balance yung oxygen. Kasi kung makikita nyo, balance na yung carbon and balance na yung hydrogen natin. No? So, balance na sila. But how are you going to have an odd number 7 dito sa ating oxygen? Okay, so it's a question mark. The only way to uh, answer that is to have 17 over 2 of O2. Ba? Kasi multiply mo tong coefficient na to sa subscript. So that means you will have 17 over 2 times 2 which is equal to 17. Well, this is okay. This is correct. Kaya lang, you have to present uh, your equation uh, in whole number. So, uh, the same way na ginagawa natin sa algebra, no? you need to multiply all of this by 2. So, distributive property, parang ganun. No? So, you will have now here in our final answer, we will have 2 C8 H18 plus 17 over 2 times 2 is equal to 17 O2 producing 8 times 2 is equal to 16 CO okay plus 9 times 2 is equal to 18 H2O so this will be our final answer sa problem na to. Now, if you want to make sure na tama ba tong naging solution natin, you can check it, no? So, katulad ng ginagawa natin kanina, let's count yung number ng elements natin. Okay? Para ma-check natin kung talagang balance sila. So, ilan yung carbon natin sa ating reactant? So, we have 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Then, yung H natin is 18 times 2 is equal to 36. And yung oxygen natin, 17 times 2 is equal to 34. Okay? So, check naman natin dito sa ating um, product. So, ang carbon natin is equal to 16. Ang hydrogen natin is 18 times 2 is equal to 36. And then, ang oxygen natin, um, 16 and plus 18. So, we have here, oxygen is equal to 34. So, balanced yung equation natin. Therefore, tama yung naging sagot natin.